Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. Um, this can either be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. Um, also, too, I just want to let you guys know that whatever falls out, that's the message that I'm giving you guys. Um, and I'm going to be honest and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So if you want somebody to sugarcoat whatever fuckery falls out on this table, I'm probably not the right channel because this is what I'm, this, this is me being honest and truthful. Okay. So if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you want to receive alerts for when I post also too, please comment. Yo, I love to see your guys' comments. I love to interact with you guys. Um, I feel like we're building like our own little funky town family and I'm definitely here for that. Um, also too, if this reading does resonate and you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to check out my website, accurateasfktarot.com. The link will be in the description below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into our reading. Who is uh, Gemini currently dealing with or who's coming in for Gemini? Who is Gemini currently dealing with romantically? Okay, two of swords. You guys could be either dealing with a uh, Libra, because the two of swords is definitely Libra, or somebody that has Libra in their chart, possibly Libra moon, Libra rising, whatever. Uh, also, too, it can be somebody that you're not speaking with. Um, how does uh, Gemini feel about this person? Okay. King of swords. Um, again, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Uh, what is the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest? Whoa. Okay, you have the devil. So there can be a um, Capricorn or Scorpio involved or a heavy fixation. What is an external influence or what's blocking them from moving forward romantically? Okay, Ace of Wands reversed. Well, that's shitty, Gemini. Um, what's unexpected that's going to happen this week for Gemini romantically? Gemini romantically. Ooh, five of cups. Okay, Gem, shit. I guess this week coming up is going to be a gnarly one. Um, hopefully the clarifiers will be a little bit better. What is the uh, best potential outcome romantically for Gemini and their person of interest? Okay, the star card, possibly an Aquarius. Um, Gemini, all right, you know, I love you guys, which is why I'm extremely br brutally honest. Okay. Either you or your partner, um, I think are dealing with a third party situation. I'm saying that because five of swords is the top of the deck, bottom of the deck. We do have the three of cups. So I do think that something is probably being hidden here. There is possibly a relationship or a situationship that somebody doesn't know about. Um, I feel like this person, possibly an Aquarius, Cancer, um, Aquarius or a Cancer, maybe, maybe, or maybe they don't have that at all in their chart. But this person, for whatever reason, you, you or this person, it just depends, right? Um, you feel like you're getting away from something, but I definitely feel like there's a level of guilt here because there's multiple people involved and there's a lot of people being hurt here. It's not just you, it's not just them, but it's also the other parties that are involved. So can you give me more information on Gemini's person of interest? Seven of um, wands. You know, I definitely feel like this person is blocked. I feel like there was an argument. I feel like you uh, needed to be or you feel like you had to be on the uh, offensive in this sense, what's causing the two of swords, the ten of swords, you know, something really upset you. There was a level of communication. Maybe you and this person are not communicating. Um, and I do think for whatever reason, it's hurting you. And I think that you feel like you have to leave it alone. Like maybe this is some type of karma relationship or karmatic relationship. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo, or Capricorn. It's like things are coming to an end or you and them go through some type of cycle with one another. Um, and it's mentally draining. That's what I get. And I also get that it's draining for your partner as well. 
it's like causing you a headache. It's causing you not to sleep at night. Gemini's person of interest. One more card for Gemini's person of interest here. Okay, six of wands. You know, distance can be an issue. The fact that maybe like this person can't physically reach out and touch you. Um... Also, too, even though maybe you and this person are not necessarily openly, open, openly communicating, they are watching you very, very closely. I don't want to call this person a stalker, but yo, this person is watching. It's like they feel like they know something. So maybe it's you, Gemini, that has a third party, but they feel like they know something and they're trying to like watch for certain things, watch for certain cues to see if you're going to give away if you're talking to somebody. How does, um, why, why is it, what's the energy of the King of Swords here for how they feel? Three of Pentacles. You know, usually I say that this dude looks like hella mean and aggressive, but the fact that how you view this person is the King of Swords, that's your perfect partner. I feel like you, you feel like this person, you and this person have the potential of working out. I think that you feel like, you know, um, they could be somebody that you'd want to marry because we have the, you know, uh, Hierophant with the King of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this is somebody that's husband material. I just think for you, you feel like there's somebody else that's meddling in the way, um, between the two of you guys. Your partner can also be possibly a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, what is, ooh. Okay, also too, something, something with you, Gemini, is there's a level of clarity that's needed between the two of you guys, Seven of Wands. So I feel like, you know, this person probably has a very mysterious uh, uh, aspect of themselves. Leo is very heavy in here as well. But it's like, you don't know, like, you don't have that clarity. You don't know what their intentions are. Like, and for you, your intentions is that you probably want to marry this person. But you're not sure what their intentions with you are, Gemini. Um, and I think for you, Four of Swords, this is what, what leads to kind of like, I feel like putting you in a place where you're constantly questioning, you know, what is this? What are we doing here? Is this worth it? Do they care about me? Do they love me? Am I stupid? Am I just sitting here while they play with my emotions? And there's also too, like a lack of affection here. It's like, and if this continues, you know, you're, you're, you're going to seek other people and this can be for you or for them. It's like, if they continue to not give to you emotionally, mentally, and physically, it's like, you can't continue to beat yourself up over it. You just have to let that shit go. That's how I feel strongly right now. Um, what does Gemini like about this person? What do they like about this person? Their person of interest. What do they like about them? Temperance. You know, I think that you like how balanced they are. I think that they are probably the opposite of you where they're probably much calmer. Um, I feel like this person, you know, you and this person probably were friends first. Um, King of Wands, maybe you guys are dealing with an Aries, uh, Sag or Leo. Um, you know, you like the touch of this person. You like the embrace of this person. This person feels good to you. This person feels right. And I think that you genuinely are very physically and physically attached to this person and attracted to this person. <laughs> That's what you like. It's like you don't want to let him go. Now, your guys' current situation is the devil. It's the energy of the devil. It's the energy of the devil here for Gemini. And that's temperance. God damn it. Okay. So... I feel like the situation is either saying, hey, a Sag is here and they're causing this, or I think that even deeper than that, I think the situation is um, you're so fixated or there is a level of fixation sexually, everything, right? And the, the issue is patience. The issue is, you know, um, 
that being verbalized to you could also be distance or travel. Um, also too, as a situation, I think that it's like, you need to, you need to have a level of understanding that's different than what they, what, what they need. You have to physically express yourself in order for you to move on, in order for you to have that, so that you can break that negative attachment. What's causing this double energy in a situation? What's causing it? What's causing it? The hermit. You know, somebody refused your offer, or you refused their offer. And because, you know, either somebody blocked somebody or there was an offer that was refused here, it's creating this level of fixation where this person can't take their eyes off you and can't stop thinking about you, vice versa, right? It's like all they're thinking about doing is, you know, when they see you, Ten of Wands, meeting up with you and what they're planning on doing with you. And this Ten of Wands, it has to do with, um, honestly, there's like a level of success here with you and this person. But I do want to say this, it's like the success is satisfying both of you. It's not one or the other because I do think that you guys are equally fixated on one another. Um, how does Gemini feel about this situation? You have uh, the seven of pentacles. I think you're tired, honestly. I think you're tired of waiting. I think that that's why patience is the issue or temperance is the issue. It's like, you're done waiting. It's like, listen, when the fuck am I gonna touch you? When are we gonna be fused as one? You know what I mean? When am I gonna be happy? When can I smile? It's like that type of energy. Um. So an external block or an external influence is Ace of Wands. So an offer is being rejected or an offer just isn't coming. It could possibly have to do with finances because you do have the Two of Pentacles here. It could also be the fact that there's two different people. Um, but I do think it has to do with seeing one another, you know, movement towards one another, possibly cancer. Um... And I just feel like what's really blocking you is that somebody feels alone. And when somebody feels alone, it's like they go internal and then either they don't speak or they find somebody else to make up for the fact that, you know, whatever's going on here just isn't working. How does Gemini feel about the external influence or block? The fool? I mean... Possibly a Pisces here. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. I mean, I feel like for you, it's like you're willing to go on that journey with them. You're willing to take that step and just take that leap of faith. But I don't know if this King of Wands is. I feel like they're uneasy a little bit. Leo, Sag, or Aries. One more time. But however you guys want to cut it, it's not ending anytime soon because death is reversed. This situation is coming back around or this situation, you guys aren't allowing it to end. So the unexpected is a five of cups. Why? With the moon. So if you guys are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, I think the unexpected is, you know, this person is highly upset. Um, what is the moon doing? Hmm. Six of cups, seven of pentacles, strength card. One more time, there's too many. What is the moon here doing with the five of cups? Why is this an unexpected? Because of you. Something you manifested, Gemini. Um, Virgo or Gem. What's being manifested here? Queen of Swords. You manifested this shit. You wanted them to feel how you feel. You wanted them to um, encapsulate, you know, definitely your emotions and your feelings. Why is this important? Because, you know, 
I don't want to say this, Gemini, but I feel like it's part of the mind game. It's part of that level of fuckery. It's like, oh, you're hurting now. Oh, now you're expressing that. Cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and walk away and do what you did to me. Right? There, There's a level of like hurt here. How does Gemini feel about the unexpected? How do they feel about it? Page of Swords. You know, I think that that's a petty card. I think that's low vibrational Gemini. I think that that's almost like that get back type of shit. That's that nine of pentacles level of obsession. I think that you're now heavily fixated on them. I feel like maybe the rules have reversed here. Ace of cups. It's like you're back to being fixated on them. There's a level of jealousy here. Because you do love this person. You're highly attached to them. And the fact that they don't want to see you with anybody else is what you needed to hear. It's like you needed to hear that. So, for you guys' outcome card, you guys have the star card. So this definitely could be an Aquarius. Also, too, this could be some type of message coming in or some type of um, wish being granted here. But either way, I mean, this is definitely looking up, right? <laughs> right, Gemini? Or this can be us being single. For those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys and talk to you later. Bye.